Russia and Ukraine make their first major prisoner of wars exchange since the last swap failed a week ago. Hungary presses Ukraine to make further legal reforms to resolve a dispute over minority rights. The European Union is stepping up pressure on Hungary ahead of the high-stakes summit on Thursday to agree on four years worth of 50 billion euros of aid to Ukraine. Released prisoners of war returning to home soil. Russia and Ukraine conducted their first major prisoner of war exchange on Wednesday since the previous swap failed a week ago. Moscow and Kyiv said they handed over approximately 200 soldiers each. So far, some 3,000 prisoners of war have reportedly been repatriated since the start of Russia's full-scale invasion. And Wednesday's events marked the 50th exchange. This after a Russian military transport plane allegedly carrying dozens of Ukrainian prisoners of war crashed. Moscow claims Ukrainian President Zelensky's forces shot it down. On Thursday, Moscow held a church and memorial service for the Russian pilots who reportedly lost their lives in the crash. Ukrainian officials said that the swap the day of the crash had been cancelled and no evidence shows the POWs were on board. Around 75,000 ethnic Hungarians reside in the Ukrainian region of Transcarpathia. Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban has long alleged that Ukraine's government is infringing upon their rights. In December, Kiev amended its education and language laws to comply with the EU's membership requirements, restoring many of the minority rights demanded by Budapest, much to the relief of the region's Hungarian community. Európai integráció volt az a katalizátor, amelyet végül is ezt az egész folyamatot úgy révbe segítette, és valószínűsíthető, hogy az december 8-a Európai Uniós csúcs volt az a pont, ami elmozította az ukrán-magyar kapcsolatoknak is a kérdését. But Hungary is not fully satisfied with the reforms, a potential sticking point as EU leaders meet on Thursday to try to convince Orbán to lift his veto on a 50 billion euro aid package for Ukraine. Most mi elmondtuk, hogy milyen pontokon látjuk a garanciáját annak, hogy a 2015-ös állapotokhoz valóban vissza tudjunk térni. A kormányközi bizottság munkáját pedig reméljük, hogy siker fogja koronázni. Hungary has made 11 specific requests to Ukraine. They include restoring the status of the national school, allowing a high school diploma to be taken in Hungarian, and enabling the use of the Hungarian language in public life. The European Union has stepped up pressure on Hungary ahead of the high stakes summit on Thursday to agree on four years worth of 50 billion euros of aid to Ukraine. In the last European Council meeting in December, Hungary vetoed the initiative. Now, many member states have lost patience with Viktor Orban systematically misusing his veto power. Now they are ready to act. We had never seen such an isolation for a new member state uh, against other EU member states. And it really seems to be a uh, test for the European Union on, on how much it can handle its uh, internal disagreements. Now, EU institutions and member states are trying desperately to find solutions. Possible alternatives could be financing Kyiv outside of the EU's budget with the remaining 26 countries. Other countries are demanding that the EU strips Hungary of its voting rights by stepping up the so-called Article 7 process, a sanctions regime already in place against Budapest because of democratic backsliding. We shall see whether the leaders will have enough patience to negotiate with Viktor Orban or whether they will undertake this new way uh, by using of Article 7, but it's just a speculation. Hungary earlier signaled it would be open to an agreement if the EU would allow an annual checkup on the Ukraine package. This was rejected by other countries. Budapest also demanded more of the EU funds for Hungary be unfrozen. The funds in total make up 20 billion euros. Orban still has a kind of transactional logic, which means that if he receives good offers, uh, it means that he can abandon 
his vetoism and obstructivist uh, approach in the decision-making process, but I don't think it can solve the long-term problem. And the long-term problem seems to be that uh, the legal system and political system of Hungary uh, seems to be unfit uh, to the uh, uh, institutional structures and the values of the European Union. Ukraine desperately needs EU aid to continue its defense against Russia's aggression. It is also dealing with the fact US aid for Kyiv is also currently being blocked by Congress. L'impennata delle domande d'asilo, la crescita dell'estrema destra, le difficoltà di stati e comunità locali hanno spinto il governo tedesco a una stretta senza precedenti sull'immigrazione. Sono venuta a Berlino per capire com'è la situazione, cosa sta cambiando e perché. This part of the camp was added last year um, because we realized we need additional places. So we built an additional 3,000 places for refugees to stay. So in the beginning, this was like a hub, a logistical center where people arrived and from where they would pass on to other destinations. Since then, things have changed because it has become more and more difficult for people to find like, private housing in Berlin. Uh, refugees actually stay permanently. Catalan pro-independence president Per Aragonés calls for responsibility so that the Spanish amnesty law is passed after it was blocked this Tuesday due to opposition from Catalan independentist party, Junts. The text would grant amnesty to all those involved with the Catalan referendum. Junts was one of the key actors in the negotiation of the law, a condition to grant Prime Minister Pedro Sánchez his re-election. Aragonés, a political rival of former Catalan president Carles Puigdemont, wants to avoid risk. No. Verdejo retorna Juan José, vota telemáticamente, no. Yo hago una crida a la responsabilidad de todas las partes para que esta ley de amnistía no estigui en riesgo, pueda ser aprobada al más aviado posible y todos estos ciudadanos y ciudadanas de Cataluña puedan recuperar plenamente los derechos y las libertades. Aragonés Party, Republican Left of Catalonia, is now one of the main supporters of Sánchez in exchange of concessions for Catalonia, while Junts has opted for a more confrontational strategy. Cada uno decide quién es la seva manera de trabajar. Yo, en todo caso, eh, a mí lo que me corresponde es eh, subrayar una cuestión muy importante. Tenemos una oportunidad histórica. El gobierno español para mantener la seva estabilidad, ahora de tener el suport de los 14 diputados independentistas. Y esta es una oportunidad histórica para Cataluña que hemos de aprovechar, y hemos de aprovechar para obtener pues, más competencias para nuestro país. One of the things he wants to obtain is an independence referendum, something he is already negotiating with Sánchez. When asked if he believes Sánchez will authorize it, Aragonés argues he trusts his own party's strength and capacity. De la mateixa manera, que fa un any em deia que ell no veia l'amnistia, em diu que ara no veu el referèndum. Eh, jo em refermo que fa un any veia l'amnistia i demanava el referèndum, ara l'amnistia està en camí i eh, li he dit que, evidentment, nosaltres seguirem defensant el referèndum d'autodeterminació. Catalunya held an independence referendum in 2017 that was ruled illegal by Spanish courts, forcing half of the then Catalan government, including Puigdemont, to flee the country.
the other half were sent to jail and pardoned in 2021. Meet Sándor Kereki, the Hungarian photographer who takes you back to the streets of Budapest in the 1970s. Given a camera by his father at the age of 16, he spent the next 10 years wandering the streets of the city where he captured everyday moments. Kereki's completed piece consists of 7,000 exposed negatives. Each of the photographs on display is intriguing, evokes memories, and in few occasions, some have recognized themselves or a relative. Ennél megkatóbbat nem sikerült még csinálnom, végignézve a többi képet is. Szerencsém volt, a világítás is jó volt, belefutottam, megtaláltam, és óriási szerencse, hogy megtaláltam, mert az utcán történt ugyan, de azért ilyet minden nap nem lát az ember. In 2021, 1800 images were uploaded to a digital photo website named Fort Pan. In some cases, they're still available to view in the archive. Is open until February 4th.